any difference between Latino and Hispanic? Explain. Um, I don't really think there's any difference. I mean, if there is, I don't know it. <laughs> so. First thing that comes to mind when you hear the term Hispanic or Latino? Uh, I think about someone that speaks Spanish. Probably like someone Guatemalan or Mexican or Cuban. There's a lot of Cubans where I'm from, and they consider themselves Latinos or Hispanics. I don't know. Yeah. Do you have Hispanic or Latino heritage in your family? Uh, no, I don't. But I, like, grew up with uh, Hispanic people in my house because I had, like, housekeepers that were Hispanic, so. The people that you consider your friends, are any of them Hispanic or Latino? How many and where are they from? Yes, and I don't know how many, like, a lot. They're from Cuba, Mexico, Guatemala, Colombia... Venezuela, Nicaragua, a lot of places. I don't know. TV or the movies, what characters are normally represented by Hispanic or Latino characters? Uh, I don't really know what you mean by that, but I think of George Lopez when I think of, like, Spanish people on TV. What types of work are Hispanic and Latinos associated with? Well, I mean, just like any other person, like, all different types of work. Like, I have a cook at my house and she's from Guatemala but then I have a really good friend from Mexico who's a neurosurgeon in, at Columbia in New York so I guess it varies. Three famous Hispanic or Latino people. <laughs> well, George Lopez, uh, Pitbull, <laughs> and Dora. Currently there are about 314 million people living in the U.S. About how many of those do you think are Hispanic or Latino heritage? Um, well, I mean, I come from Florida, and there's, like, a lot of Cubans and stuff in Florida, so I would say in Florida it's about 65%, but I don't know, in the U.S., maybe, like, 45 I have no idea. State or states do you think have the most Hispanic or Latinos? Well, Florida. <laughs> um, yeah. How much of an influence do Hispanic or Latinos have on your everyday life? Um, I think a really big influence, because especially at home, there's so many people that are Hispanic. It's just kind of normal to have, like, most kids at school be Hispanic. And, yeah. What type of work is Hispanics usually associated with? What type of word? Work. Like, oh, jobs. Work? Yeah. Oh. I feel like they do, like, social work in, like, government and stuff. Um, name three famous Hispanic or Latino people. Mario Lopez, Jennifer Lopez. Um, George. Oh, George Lopez. My, wait. What state or states do you think have the most Hispanics? Um, probably like Texas, like the southern states, like California, Florida. Okay. Um, the first thing I think of when uh, I think of Hispanic or Latino is uh, someone of Spanish descent or someone hailing from country that was at one point a colony of Spain. So I have one friend from college, uh, he's from Arizona, uh, and I think uh, his father is from Mexico, so I think that would count as one of them. Uh, I would consider Pablo a friend, he's from Spain, I think, uh, and I would consider Mr. Albert as a friend, and I think he's from uh, Puerto Rico. And Miss Garcia, who is from New York City, uh, but I think her family is from uh, Puerto Rico as well. All right, so what characters are typically represented? So uh, the types of characters, I would say, are uh, usually louder, uh, have more personality, I would say. Uh, heavy accents, heavy Spanish accents. Uh, yeah. Uh, typical work that Hispanic and Latinos are typically associated with, I would say, are uh, like the stereotype is a lot of blue pump, a lot of blue collar jobs, so uh, construction. Uh, like maybe housekeeping uh, 
jobs, uh, landscaping jobs, those are, I would say, like the stereotype. Right? California, Florida, Arizona, New Mexico, Texas. Do you think that there's a difference between Hispanics and Latinos? Um, no, I mean, I think other people would, um, like, put them in a different category, but, um, personally, I don't think they're any different. So, <laughs> what is the first thing that comes to your mind when you think or hear Hispanic or Latino? Um, probably Central America. <laughs> Solid. Of the people that you consider your friends, are any of them Hispanic or Latino? If so, how many and where are they from? Um, like best friends or just like friends? acquaintances, friends. Um, yeah, there are a couple of people I work with who are from um, Colombia and a couple from Mexico. Mm. So, like, of your total friend group, like, like what percent? Or like, no, just like in okay. your life, like what percent of them would be Hispanic or Latino? Maybe like. 20, 15. Okay. Um, do you think that there's a difference between Hispanics and Latinos? Um, probably, but I don't really know it. <laughs> uh, what type of work are Hispanics associated with? I know, like, stereotypically it's kind of like gardeners and stuff, but... Mm -hmm. I don't know. <laughs> Name three famous Hispanics or Latinos off the top of your head. Oh, this is hard. Oh, God. Um, George Lopez. Mm -hmm. um, oh, what's his name? He's on, like, E or something. It's like Mario something. One more. Um, J-Lo. Do you think that there's a difference between Hispanics and Latinos? Yes. What is it? I'm not sure. That's okay. What is the first thing that comes into your mind when you hear Hispanic or Latino? You have to pick like a couple terms. Um, foreign. Mm -hmm. Um, culture. Mm -hmm. Um, dance. <laughs> Are you Hispanic? No. <laughs> Of the people that you consider your friends, um, how many of them are Hispanic or Latino? And where are they from? Um, actually, like, a lot of them are. A lot of people in my town are from Puerto Rico. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. What town are you? Well, mm -hmm. romantic. <laughs> we call it Puerto Rico. <laughs> <laughs> there are currently 314 million people living in the U.S. Um... Of that number, how many of them do you think are Hispanic or Latino? You can give me a percentage. Um, like, 18%. Would you believe me if I told you that by the year 2060, um, there would be 128 million Latinos or Hispanics living in the U.S.? Wait, how many people are in the U.S. right now? 314 million. <laughs> no! No? Okay. Okay, uh, today we have, uh, I mean, tonight... We have Noah here, our friend, and uh, Noah, we're going to ask you five questions, basically, that are related to Hispanics and uh, Latinos. So, um, let's start with the first question. Uh, is there any difference between a Hispanic and a Latino? And please explain. No. I don't... Ah. Uh... Hispanic and Latino. Well, actually, yeah, I feel like a Latino is someone who lives in Latin America. Well, I feel like a Hispanic could be anyone of Latin American, like, of uh, like Latin American descent. Could be anyone like that. Okay. So uh, the second question is: Name three famous Hispanic or Latino characters um, or people. Well, Pitbull, mm -hmm. Shakira, one more, um, George Lopez. Ooh, okay, that's 
as, uh, these are good choices. Okay, our third question would be Do you have Hispanic or Latino heritage in your family? And if so, uh, do you consider yourself Hispanic or Latino? No, I'm not. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's a pretty straightforward question. So, uh, The fourth question is What types of work are Hispanics and Latinos are usually associated with? So I, I give Stereotypically. You, um, construction workers. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. Um, <laughs> so basically, uh, manual labor. Yeah. That's what. That's what. You're yeah. Saying. Okay. So the fifth question, and the, this is the last question. Okay. Um. Of the people that consider you friends, are any of them Hispanic or Latino? If so, how many, and uh, where are they from? I have one friend from Uruguay, that's about it. He left though. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, well, uh, this is the end of the interview, and uh, we'd like to thank you, Noah, for uh, giving us the honor of interviewing you. Yeah, um, Latino, um, they might be um, from Latin America, while Hispanics are from Mexico. That's my best guess. Uh, two friends that are Latino because they're from Latin America. Andres Manuel is from Venezuela, and um, Kevin Pimento is from the Dominican Republic. I'm sorry. Yeah, I've, um, I have a friend back home who's from Mexico, and yeah, he's a really nice kid. His name is Antonio, so I think he's Hispanic. Yeah. And, like, you can't really stereotype them, and they can come in like different. Um, like characters, like they could be police officers, or they could be workers, they could be businessmen. It's not really a designated um, role for um, Hispanics or Latinos. Um, uh, Derek Jeter, right? No, he, is he? Yeah, maybe he might be. Is, yeah, he might be. Um, Robinson Cano. Yeah, there we go. That's two. Um, I need one more. You have a good history, Ben. Shut up. Um, oh, good. um, Derek Jeter, yeah. Um, Robinson Cano, and um, third one, A Rod. Oh yes. Um, I'm gonna go with around maybe twenty percent. Um, are of Latino or Hispanic heritage. Yeah. The southern states because that's closer to Mexico and um, they can find easy labor there, so the southern states. Um, not that big of an influence, but it's big enough to, um, to have an effect because like there are a lot of Latino workers that are around campus and you can talk to them in Spanish if you know how to speak it. Also like some of my friends here are Hispanic so I can talk to them. Also in New York where I have a house, the guy who comes and mows my lawn it's Hispanic and I can talk to him sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> so I think Latinos are the guys who come from Latin America and Hispanics are basically guys who like have some relation to like Spanish language and stuff. Some uh, who work maybe cleaning or like fa working in factories but not like higher. I've only, I, I spent my like time in the in like the state of Connecticut, and I've never been to like southern states, so I will go with New Hampshire because when I was there during the summer in the water park, and New Hampshire like you think it's a state with mostly white people, but I entered the water park, and there were only Hispanic people there.